So, even though it doesn't make sense, Timmy should already have clearance since he are, Goddard should have a good memory of Timmy. We have to get Timmy security clearance. The Timmy security clearance. So, in, so in short, it's Tim. Or no, wait, no. Tick, really? The, where's the where is the I in Timmy security clearance? Like, like the first letter. Where's the I in one of the first letters? Come on, Adam. Mario two. God damn it. I mean, I don't really care if my name is even like actually known, but. Yeah. By the way, you know one thing that doesn't make sense. SpongeBob had to water flowers, whereas um, Danny and Timmy have to walk through wrenches. Why Danny and Timmy, yeah. actually? Why both? Because they're made by the same creator or something like that. Why not Jimmy? That makes no, more Jimmy sense. Jimmy already had clearance beforehand. Oh. So, let's see. And we have to kill this stupid idiot. Are you watching the review? Shit. <laughs> And so, I have to react. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I can't react because apparently, uh, you know, the whole debate. Yeah, the Fine oh, Brothers. Yeah, 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 yeah. They can screw off. Don't worry about them. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. As long as you don't say the word react, you're fine. Do let's watch. Fair enough. They never went after me because, because I said didn't. let's watch. Or maybe it was because they never tried. The React World thing before. And Jimmy is screwing us up royally. Thank you. <laughs> We're missing one token. Where the hell is it? This is a job for Clef. We got it. Let go. Drop it. Reminds me of Batman Beyond. Because of that one episode where Terry was framed for murder. What was that? Oh, I was, I was like, demanding Timmy to drop a car. And then I was reminded of watching Batman Beyond, where that one episode where Batman was framed for murder, and then Barbara Gordon's, like, yelling for him to drop up the barrel he used to murder someone. Quote, unquote. Wow. Here we are. Off to save Goddard from a flea, which doesn't make sense still. This is God and yes, I'm watching it now. So now we're at Goddard's head. It probably is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You can afford to be wrong once in a while. Wow, Danny, you have a good point. Jesus. At least we have 14 lives. So this thing just shockwaves like Bowser. SpongeBob, kill it! Oh no, it's healing. There may be a way to knock it down from its perch. How about SpongeBob? What's that? I'm trying to figure out how to knock it down. That's not going to work. What the oh, wait, Jimmy? That's not it either. How do we knock this idiot down? Oh, maybe like that. 
for once we get to use the Jimmy football thing. Which still doesn't make sense, by the way. When did Jimmy ever play football? Oh, shit. It's healing! Are you kidding me? How <laughs> do you knock this idiot down? Well, I'm watching the review. It's like, just listen to this epic main menu music about the characters and whatnot. And then the music plays, and then you're like, are you kidding me? So many epic coincidences. Perfect timings. Crap. <laughs> yes! And Timmy is down. Crap. Danny's turn. Danny, you're the one who keeps getting hit. No, Jimmy, you're the one who keeps getting hit. Why do I keep why do I keep getting messed up like that? Shut up. Are you kidding? It's a good thing we have a lot of extra lives. Uh, that, that's funny. Shut up, Jimmy. Shut up, Timmy. I'm trying to help you. Why does the teenager guy do everything for these kids? I'm trying. All our lives are just going to disappear. Jimmy, you're smarter than that. Oh, now it's healing. Lovely. Apparently, Goddard's watching from the inside. You're so helpless, all three of you. How is it I'm not taking any damage and you're taking all the damage? Shut up. Actually fight for once and maybe you won't need help. Come on. Seriously. Sure. Sponge is down. So is Jimmy. Timmy, stop. All right, we killed it. Now to trace this flea bot signal. Aha! I've got the coordinates for Calamitous's lair. 
The lair is underground, beneath an abandoned warehouse. It's not that far from here. We can take the hover car. Well, that was smart of Calamitous. Let's go stop the Syndicate once and for all! Apparently his lair is located in a warehouse not far from Jimmy's house. Why not put in a rift between dimensions, or why not go off to another world? Sure, it's all multiverse and it's all connected. Everyone interacts with everybody. But you know what? That's why you don't stay on your home turf. <sighs> this is probably our last upgrade. So what I do probably doesn't matter. Do I need to randomize it? Nope. We're on Calamitous' Doomsday Lab. Looks like we're at the final showdown. What are we going to get? Like a combination of all the boss battles, plus maybe the Calamity Bot makes its big comeback? <gasps> that would be an awesome final battle. This is it, Professor. We are here to stop your Doomsday Machine. Or they're all just going to be inside um, a Saturn-shaped machine where they're all in little balls, including Vlad, who looks really awkward inside of there. Demonstration of our power. Universal Doomsday Machine countdown initiated. Oh, okay. So now they're going to destroy. Why do they want to destroy the universe when they're going to be taken with it? Wait, what? They want to destroy the universe, but they're going to die in the blast, too. Are you crazy? Okay. You destroy yourselves, too. Oh, no, Danny, I assure you, we are quite safe inside this protective capsule. Oh, apparently Danny does point out that they could kill themselves in the blast, too, but then Vlad reassured them, oh, they're safe inside the... Well, what are you going to do? You're not going to have a universe left to rule. <laughs> That's the whole thing. Why are the why do we have these people who instead of enslaving the universe would rather just destroy it? I mean with Kefka from Final Fantasy VI, it makes sense because he finds life to be meaningless. But here they clearly want world domination. I like how Crocker has the same life icon even though he's in his regular outfit. Wow. So now we just have this. Instead of having everyone just flying around, explosions everywhere, instead they're inside a machine. They, we have to just destroy their machine. Oh wow, they miniaturized us. What the hell? Why couldn't we walk across that? Why can't I stomp these? And Crocker still has magic powers for some reason, even though we gave the fairies back their power. Oh, but wait, I think Wanda said earlier that, oh, we can't interfere with the magic of other worlds. No, 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 no. I'm sure it doesn't work like that. You just had to come up with an excuse so that we couldn't just end the game right there. It's just like what Fairly Odd Parents does to insert a new character in Season 10. And can Timothy get over here? Nope! We gotta... Shit. Crap. Oh my god, Vlad. Hurry.
All right. So now Crocker doesn't have his shields. SpongeBob. Oh my god! And now, of course, the stupid Plankton bot is here, and all the mines are all over the place. We haven't scored a single hit on Croc. Oh, here we are. Oh my god, Crocker is like almost dead. But now we have to get rid of the stupid plankton bots that stop spamming these stupid mines. Are you still watching the video, by the way? What? Are you still watching the video, by the way? Yeah. <clears throat> right, let's get Crocker's shield back down if we can. Yup. Oh my... Oh wow, Crocker makes like a hit sound effect kind of right out of Metal Gear Solid almost. Like it kind of sounds like, um... Oh, it sounds like Psycho Mantis's hit sound effect. <laughs> Alright, so Crocker's down and now we just got to... It looks like we have to take out Plankton and Vlad and then we can take out Calamitous. Jimmy just died, never mind, he's fine. Okay, nope, still not enough. Now I think we have enough. Meanwhile, kill this stupid idiot. And Danny is near death. And we need him to shatter this thing. Did you get to the part yet? What? Did you get to the part yet? What part? The part with Goddard. No. Alright, now Vlad can take damage. And Calamitous is the one spamming all the wind power-ups. There's Vlad over there. Nice. Oh, of course Crocker's just kind of spinning out of control. And now his shield's back up, so we gotta go shut it off. What an epic final battle, people! Of course, everyone's got to follow me. No, God forbid anyone stay behind so they can start hitting as soon as possible. Are you serious? I like how Vlad is not called by his full name, Vlad Plasmius, whereas we have Professor Calamitous being referred to as Professor Calamitous. Oh my god, and Calamitous keeps getting in the way! And he only took a little bit of damage ultimately, but now they're all gonna follow me! Yes, enemies! We need enemies! SpongeBob, you have the right idea! As long as it's not that stupid mine guy! Okay, whoa! SpongeBob, finish him! Alright, Vlad's down. 
So now it's just Plankton. One space. Wait, are you still watching the video? I'm at the part now. Oh. All right, the bridge is formed. How long is this? We just went over 21 minutes. Oh, boy. Or we're more at, like, almost 22 minutes, but hey, we're almost done here. Alright, Plankton. Hey. Oh, hey! You're just in time for the finale. Awesome. I was on a Skype call recording the video. So wait, were you doing a talking time with caffeine? Oh no. No? Okay. A let's, just a let's play. Yes, well, we're finishing up Nicktoons Unite. Awesome. We have such an epic final battle, like, you know, instead of having all the villains combine their powers in like an epic showdown with lots of explosions and whatnot, they all just go inside a machine where they're inside little orbs, and we just gotta kill them all. Sometimes <laughs> they to make it too easy. Oh no, yeah, god forbid kids get a challenge or like an awesome superhero team up, or like a team up their favorite characters that that's done properly. <laughs> so we're killing Plankton now? <laughs> yes, we're attacking Plankton now. Oh my god! Jesus, yes! Now it's just Calamus that needs to go down. Oh my god! Come out from that wherever you are. Oh my god, oh my god. Here they come, here, me, here they come. It's gonna be more Calamus wind. Why? Is he firing wind just because Jimmy fires wind? They couldn't come up with an original idea. Where's the Calamity bot? Sure, that final battle of Jimmy Neutron inside the Matrix was completely broken, but you know what? It still felt like a final battle. Oh, and we need Jimmy here. But stand still, face your death like, like a man. Jimmy's using his football power up that still doesn't make sense. Football power? Yeah, Jimmy puts on a football helmet and just charges. There wasn't a single. I don't remember a Jimmy Neutron episode where he played football. He was like, there was one where he played baseball, but yeah, not football. I remember him being yeah, jocked at that much Jesus. <laughs> ah, ah. You're going. You're going to jail for real this time. You're not gonna break it out this time. Mario Tube, you there? Is he in the room? I see, I see, he's on the video. Yeah, you see him there? Yeah. All right, it's just he went silent. Gotta pull the switch again. And this time, SpongeBob pulls the final blow. Sponge power. Sponge boy, me Bob. After we kill Calamitous, we'll celebrate with Krabby Patties. Yes, yeah, celebrate with Krabby Patties. Jesus, no! Oh, what? He just kind of died. What happened? Epic cliffhanger. <laughs> oh my god, where is he? 
Oh, he's there. Mario Tube, you see this? Where is he? Hmm. I guess... I want him to watch the ending. <laughs> Could you t type in a message? Hmm? Wait, what? Oh, you're the... Oh, okay! He's just very quiet. Oh, yeah, I was watching a video that Schnick wanted me to watch. Yeah, well, Calamitous just up and died out of nowhere. I guess Timmy dealt the final blow or something. So, save our progress. So you beat the game? Looks like it, but that's not the end. We gotta see how it ends. Rolling the Easter egg credits. I would want to see if there's, like, Easter egg credits with, like, the voice actors interacting, but, eh. I mean, if there's a Goddard inside a Goddard, I doubt that would happen. I don't believe it. You and Calamus is outside the machine, but then the other villains are just still That's in right. it. right. You taught me a valuable lesson in teamwork, Professor. Teamwork? The well, they were working here. together. Oh, not quite. Kind of stupidly, but they still were. So who's our hero bunch? Oh my god, they still haven't shut off the Doomsday Machine. Well, how are they going to do it? Hmm. 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 Well, goodbye, Universe. Goodbye, Piglet. Goodbye, Eds. Goodbye, Cartoon Network characters. Goodbye, Sora. Goodbye, Donald and Goofy. Goodbye, uh, my Third Street Saints. Goodbye, Michael, Trevor, and Franklin. Goodbye, BJ Blazkowicz. Goodbye, Sergeant Cortez. Goodbye, Spider Man. Goodbye, everybody. Yep, it's all over. Bye, everybody. What? What happened? What? It worked. <laughs> so you see what he just did? I unplugged it. Yeah, SpongeBob just unplugged the machine, and that shut it off. Way to go, SpongeBob! <laughs> it's over. You saved the day. Wow, uh, so, so he did save the day after the all. The syndicate in your Sponge, Danny, I think it's time Jimmy we go our Timmy. separate ways. But take these neutron recallers with you. If anything like this happens again... Oh, neutron callers in case anything like this happens again. Thanks, mm, sequel bait? You're to visit me in Bikini Bottom hmm. anytime you like. Guess I should get going. Don't want to lose my job at the Krusty Krab. Don't want to lose your job at the Krusty Krab. Let's go to the Krusty Krab and celebrate. I'll fill Krabs' pockets with money. Time, he starts charging me. For wasting his time. Sometimes I have to work all day just to break even, but I love Work all day there. just to break so even. You I don't even, you make less than a quarter a year. I don't even know how you pay your bills. Well, and I you love it. I turn to say goodbye. Here, Jimmy, I've got something for you. Don't you worry about me, Bob. Okay, well, oh, Danny's giving him a thermos. In. Thanks, Danny. With this, I can figure out what those fantastic projections is that, really is that, were. Is that Jimmy's arm um, and off again girlfriend? Yeah. No, he's in this Oh, room. wait! Vlad put... Danny put Vlad inside a thermos? So he's just gonna release him into the ghost zone, and he's just gonna get out! But we should probably say... Wow. Thanks for lending me... Oh, my God! That's stupid. And then, of course, Jimmy is saying how good it is to see Timmy again. Wait, was it... Wait, is that referencing a uh, crossover that's... Like, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, that show Cindy, crossover. Get out of huh. my lab! And it ends with Cindy rolling her eyes at being told to get out of the lab. And we have credits. With just the main theme playing. So that awesome. was Nicktoons Unite, everybody. What were you going to say? Uh, I can't wait to actually hear the sound of this. <laughs> I can't hear the sound over it. Yeah. Mario Tube, you have anything to add before I give final thoughts? What? You have anything to add before I give final thoughts? Uh, interesting game, never beat it in my life, and I already saw the ending, but it's not like it matters, because it wasn't like I was going to play it again anyways. Well, maybe I would, I don't know. It no makes, one knows. It makes me want to go check out some old Danny of Phantom episodes. I used to like that show. If, it, if you get a Hulu, you can actually watch it on there. 
Uh, or the or the complete series box set is twenty bucks on Amazon or so. Is there any Danny Phantom games? There were a couple on the Game Boy Advance and DS, and I had one of the Game Boy Advance ones, but I can't play those because I don't have a Game Boy Advance anymore. Uh, I have the I have the Danny Phantom DS game. Yeah, that's yeah. He has the DS game, so. Yeah, it's called Danny Phantom Urban Jungle. Uh, it's, a sh- go on. it's a shooter game, so it's pretty fun. So that's been nothing for PS or, or Wii or GameCube. Not that I know of, no. Oh. No, no, there isn't. Um, there were several. Th- there's plenty of SpongeBob games. There's three Jimmy Neutron games on the PS2 and all that, and there was two Fairly Odd Parents games. But you hear that? You hear that? Nickelodeon, go make some Danny and Phantom games for, for pla- No, they gotta make a game based on Breadwinners and Sanjay and Craig. Make the no, they gotta make a Breadwinners dancing game where they shake their butts for like 20 minutes while you do dance moves. It's not like what? they're gonna make a Danny Phantom game nowadays. I don't even know. But then again, they did say they wanted to revive their old shows. In fact, they even said, hey, Arnold's coming back for a TV movie that's going to resolve that cliffhanger at the end of that uh, the journal episode. They're bringing back the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> oh, yeah, but that looks like a Steven Universe Clarence clone. Like, literally, Cartoon Network's got to use the same art style for everything. Why? Yeah, that art style looks like shit. <laughs> the shows may be good, but I'm getting kind of sick of seeing the same art style all the time. Get creative. Uh, so what's your final thoughts? What's my final thoughts? It's kind of missed potential. Seriously, hang on. it's like what the review said. You have four characters from popular Nickelodeon shows at the time coming together, and you don't really do much with it. The heroes barely do anything worth noting. In fact, two of the game's two of the game's villains are not even beaten by them. Like, Vlad, Danny has to possess his dad in order to beat him. And then Plankton is beaten by Patrick falling on him. And ultimately, it's like... And then the final battle is like kind of a complete joke. Instead of like having everyone... No, they're all inside this like little machine. And I like how they're sitting... Wow, they were congratulating... They were like giving a special thanks to the show creators, but... And you and you beat him by... It. Lame by unplug. Yeah, that, SpongeBob that, just unplugged their Doomsday device. I was gonna destroy everything. Yeah, that's how Doomsday devices work. If it was a real movie, that would be an epic ending, funny. But as it, for a game, that's not. Yeah, but. But then, then again, that's like the story and all that. The story's not all that good. I don't even know if it's all that funny. I say if it was a movie, that would be a good ending. But for a game, that's not a good ending at all. Yeah, yeah I agree. But, and then in terms of gameplay, well, you have an upgrade system that, honestly, I don't even know if they, I don't even know if they felt any stronger when I upgraded their strength. And, the combat is kind of basic, and not to mention very monotonous, especially since you can't even tell how much damage the enemies are taking. But then again, at the same time, it's very easy since you're given a shit ton of lives. Yeah. Kind of like New Super Mario Bros. 2. Or any Super Mario game nowadays. No, Mario has more dignity, but at the same time, I kind of don't want to say this game's bad either. Because it, it's maybe just from the novelty of seeing these characters together officially outside of fan fiction, having all the original actors back and interacting with each other. And having all the shows re- and a lot of the locations from the show are created or are recreated a bit faithfully. Like all the art styles do match. Like Fairly Odd Parents looks very cartoony. Um, SpongeBob kind of looks a bit more photorealistic. And Jimmy Neutron, you can tell, is completely designed in realistic 3D, like what a regular game would be. And then they also may drop a lot of references to shows here and there. Like, you get to see Plankton's lab at one point. Um, stuff like the Fairy World sign and D- and Danny's Fenton Works building are recreated. Any side characters from those games? I mean, those worlds? Any what? Side characters. Side char- Yeah, but the thing is, 
That's the big criticism. They don't talk. Oh. Like, you don't actually get to hear them talk. But you know what? There were sequels to this game. And dare I say it, those had more effort put into them. Because there was full voice acting for all the characters. There's more to the game than just kind of big generic combat. Like, sure, the combat's still generic in the sequels, but then they add a lot more platforming. They add a bit more variety. Like, the boss... I mean, well, then again, the boss battles in this game were pretty creative, even though they did get annoying at times. Did it... I gotta check it back. Did, it, but did this game have Danny's golf girlfriend? Yeah, but she didn't talk. And she was only in it for, like, one level. But there is one thing to note. She's playable in the next two games. Awesome. Or at least I, I or at least the next game I know, but then again, the three the four of them had their adventure. And they have to go their separate ways for now, but the thing is Vlad's probably gonna get out of the ghost zone because Danny's just gonna let him go because Vlad has his own portal in his castle. And but So we know that something like this is gonna happen again, inevitably, because, you know, they made a stupid decision. But in the meantime, they probably have their own adventures to go on. And there's plenty of people, like I said earlier, who we haven't seen. There's someone known as the Avatar. There's four mutant turtles from the sewers. There's people who get morphers from some kind of magic source. There's peop There's the Rugrats. Yeah, I'm not done with the Rugrats. Or at least they're not done with me. Baby. And what about that jungle boy who encountered Team Rocket Power? And then the, 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 that girl who talked to animals. Oh, yeah, yeah, but there was only one game of that. And it was like an educational game. R Rugrats, is that the baby version or the kid version? No, r baby version. Uh, not the all there, there wasn't really a game based on all grown up, no. Not unless you want to count like guest appearances in other games. So, all I can say is the real hero in this game is actually SpongeBob because, well, he's the one who unplugged it. So, yeah, he's the one who unplugged it, and you know what? He's deserving of a rest for the next adventure. But you know what? It's his turn first. It's been a while since. You know what? That's the thing, Sponge, and that's kind of ironic because you know, Jimmy saved the world from being engulfed in the Matrix. Timmy prevented Vicky from abusing the powers of the fairies, but SpongeBob just went to get an autograph for Patrick's birthday. What did Danny do? What? I don't know. He just came out of nowhere. <laughs> kind of like Hawk, kind of like Hawk Girl in Justice League. I feel like Danny wasn't even that interested in this game because he just stared into space in that one portion. Actually, I think he stares into space in a lot of portions. And I bet he feels awkward interacting with two ten-year-olds in a talking sponge. And he's, like, in high school. I think, like, was, he, was he, like, a freshman or something? Or? Yeah, he was a freshman. Yeah. He was 14. At least he wasn't any older, but... You know what? I still think that this is building to something much greater. At least I would hope it would build to something much greater. Is I know Timmy was Jimmy was Jimmy ten too. Yeah, Jimmy's ten, and Timmy's ten. Uh, I know I know Timmy was, but uh, I don't remember liking girls that much in fourth grade. <laughs> but A lot of boys don't, from what I hear, and I <laughs> kind of the stereotype. But apparently these guys... <laughs> oh, well. Well? That's what? For you. That's what for you? That's the Nickelodeon universe for you. Yeah. yeah. So... Once again, I'm, I'm just restating myself, but I'm just hoping that this builds to something more greater. Like, there's more higher stakes. There's less stupid stuff like a doomsday machine getting unplugged by a plug. By stick being keepers. unplugged by a plug? What? Come check out our channels. Unplugged by a plug, yeah, that doesn't make sense. I mean, he unplugged it. That's the, that's the way he stopped it. Yeah. But... 
SpongeBob deserves to go on a greater adventure, but you know what? We'll have to see that one other day. To be continued. Yes. First, we may have to see what a police force that's using Ranger Morphers is doing. Nice. Yeah. Which, which Rangers? Which Rangers? You ever hear the term Lightspeed Rescue? Yes. Yes, we're going to have to do that. I'm going to have to do that at least, so... The, the, the demons. The demons. See? We're already getting somewhere. Demons. <laughs> but then again, this game had ghosts. But then again, ghosts could be like paper... Like Charlie Brown ghosts. Demons are hardcore. Yeah. So... Yeah, we'll have to see you all when that comes in the next video. See y'all next time. Later. Bye-bye.